that this is my cajon that I'm making. So, <coughs> I thought I'd show a little bit of it before it gets all done together. So these are snare wires that I've chopped in half, connected to a dowel. And over on the side here, an adjustment so as I slide that that will move the snare wires forward which will come on to then what will be the front of the drum and when I adjust it back it touches onto this dowel here which I've covered in some felt just to stop those snare wires from vibrating inside so I can have snare on or off in the off position it will sound a bit more like a bongo in the on position it will have that real snappy snare sound. In these top corners I've got these little parts here which I've just beveled out a small edge. When I put the top on it'll have a matching part and that'll be like two little um, uh, sort of rim shot pieces which hopefully will sound really good. So that's the basic design inside here I've got this piece here so as this lever arm moves up and down you can't see through the, the groove hole on the side so it'll be completely enclosed I'll just get the top show you what it will look like So that'll be screwed on top. I had it on earlier. It does sound pretty good. So you can see there the little rip shot section. And of course on the back will be another piece quite similar to that, but it'll have a has the um, sound hole in the middle. Alright, I have to do some staining. I think I'll, I'll stain the front of it while I have it off and hopefully we'll have it together soon. Alright, here's my cajon, which I've just put the faceplate on. And I'll turn it over to show the mechanism inside. Again, so that's off. So those snare wires push up against that dowel, which is covered in felt, and that stops vibrating. And to turn the snare on, slide that up, and then push down on the face of the drum. To give a good snare sound, I'll just give it a little tap so you can hear it. And then in the corners we have a little, it's a bit like a rim shot. So it's my cajon, and I'll have to pop the back plate on now so we can see how it sounds with the, uh, the back on and the sound hole. Just sort of I'd show this is the mechanism on the side. You can see how you can't see into the drum. So I'll slide that up. Still can't see in the drum because of that plate behind. I've also put a bit of um, felt onto that. Just aligned it around the edge. Stuck it on with a bit of hot glue. Just to help it, help it slide a bit more easily. 
um, and make less noise when you're turning the snare on and off. Um, just quickly about how I've made what I made this with. I've got 12 mil ply um, for the sides and top and bottom, and for the front and the back is the same. This is actually a 4 mil ply. A lot of the um, videos I saw on YouTube and in, um, information I found on the internet said to use 3, but I couldn't find 3 mil ply um, in anything other than a really big sheet, so I managed to find a small sheet which was um, 4 mil, so it doesn't seem to make a big difference. Um, I'm going to put some little rubber feet on the bottom, so I've just reinforced here with a little bit of extra timber in the corners so they've got something extra to drill into when I put the little feet on which I think I'll do now okay I've just put the feet on and I'm about to put the base plate on I just wanted to show on the base plate I've put this just piece of half dowel at the top of the sound hole so that way when it's, uh, I'm wanting to pick the drum up and carry it I can hold the sound hole and it just gives a bit of extra stability so that that, doesn't, that piece of uh, ply doesn't crack um, when I'm carrying the drum and there it is it is completely finished Snare off. Snare on. Gives a nice bass tone. So all in all, my first cajon, I'm quite happy.